Welcome back. 623 this morning. We've got a treat for you. The state's oldest farm animal sanctuary opening its doors to the community to show off animal friends, both old and new. Our Good Morning Providence reporter Josh Kerman is live in Tiverton right now, giving us a look inside with some special friends joining us this morning. Josh. Cara, can you imagine we're actually waking up before a few of the animals this morning? Now, we're out here in Tiverton at the West Place Animal Sanctuary. I am joined by Wendy Taylor, who does some great work out here. Now, before we start talking to Wendy, we're actually going to make our way over towards a sleeping animal. So we're going to be quiet to meet one of the older friends here. Why don't we make our way over there? So we are being introduced to Jack the pig. Is that it? Jack the pig, his sister Diane and their friends Bentley and Pickles. All right, so we're gonna be introduced to them and then we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the great work that they do here uh, at the Animal Sanctuary. So if you'll, if you'll lead us in here. Ooh, it is a beautiful day to be in a little pigsty. Hello, good morning. So talk me through, Wendy, some of the great work that you guys do here. What, what goes on here at the, the Farm Animal Sanctuary? So West Place Animal Sanctuary specifically rescues farm animals from neglect, abuse, and cruelty cases. And being on the farm coast in Rhode Island, unfortunately, we do see that sometimes. Um, pigs and other animals uh, are just as worthy of being rescued and being recognized and getting good, loving homes uh, as dogs and cats are. So we decided to pick up the slack where the animal rescue industry left off. And you guys have an event coming up this weekend to welcome some people in and check this out. Talk to me a little bit about what's going on this weekend. We do. We only open to the public three times a year, so it's a rare occurrence and it's pretty special. But we are open uh, Saturday, September 7th and Sunday, September 8th. Tours run every 30 minutes, uh, starting at 9.30 in the morning through 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They're about an hour and a half long educational tours, uh, good for the entire entire family, whether you're seven or whether you're 77, um, coming here and getting to learn hands-on what we do, getting to experience all the animals uh, in, in their environment. Uh, and we've brought all these animals back to a state of good health. So it's a really feel-good place to be because we see them at their worst, but the public, we let them see them at their best. And then they're living, like Jack here, the pig, uh, he's living his best life here. Well, Wendy, thank you so much. We'll still be here in our next half hour. For now, we will let sleeping pigs lie, uh, and we will introduce <laughs> you to one of their newest rescues coming up in the next half hour. For now, in Tiffany Kerman, ABC 6 News.